Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Whiteboard Weather on a Tuesday morning, the 29th day of September. Sun came up this morning at 7.14 and it sets this evening at 7.06. And as you probably know by now, we're on the the flip side of the day-night split where the nights are now becoming longer than the days. It's part of that transition into autumn. Hope you're having a great morning this morning. Uh, as expected, uh, not so great outside, but we had a really nice run for two weeks. Starting the day with clouds, cooler temperatures, and some rain showers in the area. So, cheers. It's National Coffee Day, by the way, so an extra special cheers to you. I'm enjoying my breakfast beverage. I have a nice whiteboard weather mug. Um, sports headlines this morning. Congratulations to the Tampa Bay Lightning. They are your 2020 Stanley Cup champions. And congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. They beat the Baltimore Ravens last night. So we here in Pittsburgh are waking up this morning with a first place football team in the AFC North. Thank you, Kansas City. Thank I got the red on. Thanking the Chiefs this morning. So, um, Steelers are in first place. It may not last long, but we'll take it while we can. Um, so there you go. As I said, today's National Coffee Day today. In addition, is National VFW Day today. Uh, and let's let's hit the birthdays right out of the gate while we're at it. Uh, Brian Gumble has a birthday today. So does uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, he's got a birthday today. If you don't know who Andrew Dice Clay is, that was a little bit of an impersonate. Oh, um, <laughs> NBA star Kevin Durant uh, has a birthday today. Remember Bum Phillips? If you're uh, a little older, the Steelers in the 70s and even early 80s when they played the Houston Oilers, Bum Phillips was the coach. Uh, he would have celebrated his birthday on this day, um, but we lost him several years ago. And Jerry Lee Lewis is 85 years old today. Uh, great balls of fire. Jerry Lee Lewis, 85. All right, let's get to the weather information for this morning. How about we start off with some current conditions, shall we? This is uh, the way it looks and feels outside as of uh, 7.30 this morning. If it's not raining in your location, it is cloudy. Temperatures in the mid-50s. 55 in Beaver Falls. Butler's at 53. 54 in Pittsburgh. And double nickels in Latrobe, Washington, and Indiana. Uh, so cloudy and damp to start off this morning. And here's the way it looks on radar this morning. Something we haven't seen in a while. Rain showers moving across the area. You can see kind of a broken line of some showers, light to moderate rain, uh, now moving into parts of Allegheny County down through the Mon Valley. Everything is working its way to the east and northeast, and it's not going to rain all day today. We'll see occasional rain showers, but we will see plenty of clouds, which will keep the temperatures likely locked in to no more than the low 60s for highs this afternoon. But we're going to make up at least some partially uh, the rainfall deficit that we've built up with no rain having fallen over the last couple of weeks. So that's the way it looks on radar this morning. Here's the way it looks on my computer this morning. This is my website, pittsburghweathernow.com. It is the home for everything whiteboard weather. You can listen to the whiteboard weather theme song. You can get a really sweet mug like mine, whiteboard weather merchandise available now for a limited time through the end of October at the Pittsburgh Weather Now shop. Uh, so you can shop there uh, whenever you want to over the next 30 or so days. Also, links to the sponsors that support me, Braun Boston Associates, another all-weather wealth tip came out yesterday. Moon Golf, Martin Lawn Services, photos and videos, much more than a lawn service is Doug Martin and his crew, their outdoor living specialists. And the Buell Insurance Agency, always been our sponsor of the photo gallery, which expands 
on a regular basis, thanks to the photos that you guys send. Speaking of uh, merchandise, um, I wanted to touch on this very quickly. Those of you that have ordered uh, some merchandise, I know there have been some supply issues, uh, so it may take a little longer than usual to get your merchandise, and I think some of the merchandise um, may have gone out of stock. I know for certain that at least one of the sweatshirt styles uh, is currently not in stock, uh, so you have the choice um, of either waiting, it could be five days, it could be two weeks, uh, or you can request a refund. Totally fine. Uh, so totally your choice. But I wanted to mention that because I did get a couple messages from people saying, I ordered a sweatshirt and it's still not here. <clears throat> As COVID has done, it has created some supply chain issues across the board and that, <laughs> that affects uh, obviously the distribution of t-shirts, sweatshirts in some cases as well. So just an FYI. All right, let's hit up the whiteboard and then we'll get you on your way. It's a Tuesday morning and this is the way it's playing out. Good morning once again, 54. First thing this morning, damp and cool as you step out the door. Scattered showers will continue on and off through the afternoon. 58 degrees at noontime and 62 the high temperature. So not a big temperature range today, only about six to eight degrees from start to finish. So we'll stay locked in that, probably that upper 50 to low 60 degree range for highs this afternoon. And again, it is a bit of a flip of the script as temperatures are now seesawing in the other direction. Below average temperatures can be expected the rest of the week. That either means upper 50s or low to mid 60s. Average high is 69. We're not gonna get back to that at least not through this weekend. And outside of today, uh, even though it's going to be cooler and at times cloudy, we're not going to see a lot of rain the rest of the week. There'll be an occasional shower here or there, but we're not going to see any widespread or significant chances of rain the rest of the week. So FYI on that. So that's a look at your wake-up whiteboard on a Tuesday, 54 to start, 62 at the finish. Lots of clouds and occasional rain showers. Before I let you go, one final nugget of information, a little fun fact, a little nugget of knowledge for you. Uh, this, <laughs> this is interesting and scary at the same time, uh, quite honestly. Um, <laughs> the annual number of shark bites worldwide is 10 times less than the number of people that are bitten by other people in New York annually. Let that one sink in for a minute. The annual number of shark bites worldwide is 10 times less than the number of people that are bitten by other people in New York annually. I, I don't know what's going on there in New York. Anyway, uh, <laughs> cheers. Happy, happy National Coffee Day to you. Uh, enjoy. Uh, your Tuesday, everyone. I'll see you coming up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. As per usual, have yourself a great day. Remember to always share whiteboard weather with your Facebook friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.